my channel. So I'm so excited because I'm gonna do a little DIY today. Before in the beginning, I was, you know, planning my festival outfits because, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. Um, and I really like making some of my festival outfits. I buy some and then I make some. Or I use, you know, what I have. But anyway, I came across this chain skirt and I think I saw it on Aid, Vibe with, Vibe with Aid. Oh, I know, I think, I think I saw it from her first. I posted like, a picture of it here. And it was this chain skirt and I was like obsessed with it. I thought, oh my God, that's so cute. Super cool and it would like make any of your looks like kind of more edgy. So I went to click on it and I was like, it was like, hundred bucks like US and I'm Canadian so that's just like three billion dollars Canadian so I was like can't do that not gonna happen so I was like you know what I can just make that really I don't want to say easily because it's probably gonna take a long time but like pretty easily yeah I wanted to say first like obviously I don't like mean to rip off the girl who makes these um skirts or any brands that work them personally like I don't know if you're Canadian you know that like buying from small brands in the states can get kind of pricey you know because of conversion and shipping and all that so I wanted to make my own version um and if you're interested in buying the skirts like this then I will put the Etsy shop that I know of down below just in case you are curious so yeah so that is what we are going to do today and i'll put a picture here of kind of what i'm going for so i bought some chain off of a website i it's called bead tin i think um and it obviously sells beads but i think it just sells like jewelry making stuff so that's all that says is it's jewelry making chain so i think this is the four by six size chain i got a little bit smaller because well, on the one that Aid had, I'm pretty sure the, like, waistband was thicker and then the, like, chain, the skirt part was smaller. But I didn't want to order, like, one, like, a thick chain and then a, a lot. I just figured I'll do it all one size. So that's what I did. I had already, I already have, um, some jump rings that I think I'll end up needing. And, like, a bunch of these, um, clasps. They're not lobster ones. They're a little different. But anyway. That's what we're gonna be doing today. I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna measure, well I know the size of my waist, so I'm gonna measure it to that. Um, probably with like some extra chain or I'll add a bunch of jump rings on the end. And then the way I measured it, I bought 20 yards of chain. Um, and I was thinking I'm gonna do varying length, so I'll do some that are 12 inches and some that are 10 inches long for the skirt part and so i think i'm gonna put them every half inch so i'll need i'm 27 inches around my waist 54 i'll need 54 pieces of chain so it'll be 27 pieces that are 10 inches and 27 that are 12 inches so yeah that is the idea that i have so far i have a couple like letters upstairs um in my room that I might add on but I only have like one of every letter so I was trying to think of words I could add I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna start by wrapping this and this is boring so I'll just come back to you once I'm done wrapping up my chain so, okay. I finished wrapping all of this chain so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start like cutting the pieces so I think I'm gonna start with my waistband and I'm gonna angle you guys on the table so I have a tape measure here and I have two pairs of pliers to try and open them. We're going to start by opening them so that I don't waste chain and then we might end up cutting it. I feel like I need to like take some tape and tape this down flat so that I can get like an accurate size. Okay, so I'm going to take my chain and let's pop it. Measure it from the end 
Maybe I should tape down the chain too. That would be smart. All right. Tape that down and measure it to 27. So what I'm gonna do, I decided I'm gonna take a Sharpie and just like mark the 27 inches because like I said, I um, I'm gonna add a little extra just to add, like add some like space, you know, growing space, okay. So I marked the chains. And then I'm probably going to add maybe like two inches-ish and try and pull this apart. I'm still gonna add a couple jump rings I think on the end just just for extra um I don't know I feel like if I add a couple jump rings then it like if someone else who's like a little bigger than me wears it I don't know I just feel like that would be the best bet so I'm gonna do that because I was working like on my chest basically and you can see what I was doing. you know for extra length they're like a little bit bigger than um the chain but that's okay so now i'm just gonna add so all i'm gonna do now is there's a little this is my jump ring or not my jump ring this is the closure and there's a little tiny ring at the end there and i'll just open this up a little And, and slip that on. So now here's my waistband, all good to go. So if I find the red mark here, I forgot to mention that I got the jump rings and the clasps um, from Michaels a long time ago, but I'm sure that they still have them. Now I need to cut out. Um, my like skirt pieces so i'm basically going to do it as like the same way that i just did the other ones okay so i said i wanted to do 10 and 12 pieces stripes so i'm going to cut out 27 pieces of chain that are 10 inches and 27 that are 12 inches and we're going to go from there and this time i'm going to measure them to be exact i'm still going to like tape down each end just to kind of make sure that it's as accurate as possible. So I think I'm going to cut my 27 pieces of 10 and then get on with it. There we go. 10, so we'll go to that one.
sick. So this is my pile of 10 inch chain that I cut. So like I said before, 27 pieces of 10 inch long chain. It really honestly took me a while to do, but that's okay. So I think now I'm just going to cut out the 12 inch pieces and then after that all I have to do is attach them and then that didn't really even take that long so okay I finally finished cutting out all the chains so this is the 12 and the 10 now what I think I'm gonna do is take my waistband and I think I'm going to put a jump ring on every like half a, um, inch jump ring on so then I can attach each chain. I So I, I finished adding the 12 inch chain to the skirt and it looks so good already. Oh my God, it looks so good. It's really, really heavy. It's heavier to hold than it feels on. I'm sure it will get even worse with the 10 inch chain, but it's so cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So that kind of took me a little bit, but I mean, worth it because it looks so good. So now I just have to add the 10 inch chain in between these pieces every half inch and then it'll be done and I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm done. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh, I dropped one of them. That's the one thing. A lot of them keep dropping if I didn't like close the jump ring all the way. So, oh my god, I'm so excited. It looks so good. I'm gonna call it a night because it is. 142 and then tomorrow I'm gonna like try this on and wear it. I'm still debating on adding something to like like some letters or something to it. I don't know, we'll see what it's so excited. Drop it. <laughs>
I hope that you liked it. I'm so excited about how this skirt turned out. I can't wait till like festival season actually comes post quarantine and I get to wear this outfit out. I do want to say that I did make the whole outfit like other than the sunglasses of course. It's me again. Um, I wanted to say that in case anyone was curious about it this took me a total of three and a half hours that's like excluding the breaks and stuff that I took for three and a half hours um and also I didn't mention before no I think I did actually I can't remember if I mentioned at the beginning or not but um the chain once it like shipped and everything I think was $17 Canadian so I'll link below where I got it from as well no, I'm really excited for how this turned out. If you guys did like the video, make sure that you guys subscribe as well as comment down below, like the video, do whatever you please, and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that when festival season does come back, you get to see all my videos and pictures. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.